Korea Indian to come to Kenya. Okay, Kenya. And I have faith Na dina kio. that God will enable you now to fly and to flow. And we will receive you wholeheartedly. Na and we love you with all our hearts. Na and we honor you. Nani togo te te. Has honored you. Age koroma mtu ni ago te te. I will honor you. Ona ni nego go te. I will respect you. Nani go wa dekira. And I believe we are going far. Nani direct. In Jesus' mighty name. The ni wa ni tora Jesu Christo. And we are going far. Nani ugo di kura ya. And we are going far. Together with our brothers and sisters. Let's appreciate him once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we pray? Can we pray? Is that okay? Talaba Sukaridaya says, Mando Saka Kalibai Shaka Barados. Come on, let us pray. By a cardia, glorious God, glorious God, glorious God, glorious God, glorious Master. Nanu shata boria, steli mandro kovinaya, binedaria sulena, aibu be shata kotosi. Nando su taribash, Nando su taricadina, E benina salo de dosa. Master Jesus, we bless you, Lord. 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 Worthy are you, O Lord. Worthy are you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aduda Satare Brakone Senia. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Sakotaria bolo seno karina ure de kado costa lena mare miri sire de mai ora dos kel mantra doska Jesus e shatari male Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Please have your seats. Have your seats. I think 
senior pastor, I think the first thing we need to get is soundproofing. I think we need to soundproof this place. Senior pastor, kedo kia bere kirea tora fatara ni soundproof. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So may the Lord provide, right? Kogo gaya rohea na amina. I give glory to Almighty God. Dirane gereriari ri gai mo ne hinya wode. I give glory to the God of my spiritual authority. Bishop Dr. Margaret. Bishop Dagitari Margaret. Because in all honesty, I am like the most unlikely human being to be standing here. But we give glory to God. Because our God is a great king. And he does what is pleasing to him. Amen. I will be very bold to tell you what God is saying. Amen. I will be very bold to tell you what God is saying. I think Holy Spirit gave me a message for for the Church of the Lord. Specifically for Church of the Lord, right? So wherever you are, either in satellite or branches in any location that is anointed Christian fellowship I believe God has given me what he's saying I heard God um, before I begin, let me honor um, Bishop, you must know God very well. Come here, you must hear God very well. I thank God for you. Amina. Now, if of my family, you can grab a hold of something for yourself as well. I, my prayer is that will not fail to grab a hold. Allow me to honor my um, Amen. Amen. Standing.
Bishop Mark. Three of them were about honor, that I will honor people. That I will honor those that are in authority over me. I will honor those uh, under me. That I will live a life of honor. So, Senior Pastor, I see you, sir. And the eldership, the presbytery, and every leader, I recognize you, I honor God for you. And let me just maybe say this. In that you serve with the woman of God. Great shall be your reward in heaven. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3, I will begin from verse 7 to verse 13. God is not saying the same thing to Deliverance Church. He is not saying the same thing he's saying to Restoration Church. I believe that at specific times God has a specific message to a specific flock. And this is the specific message as much as I can receive it from the Lord. I believe this is the message for anointed Christian fellowship. And verse 7 says, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, the words of the Holy One, the true one, who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. Those titles there, the Holy One and the True One, uh, they are repeated in chapter 6, verse 10. They are also repeated in chapter 19, verse 11. In chapter 6, verse 10, Jesus is called the Holy One, the True One. And in the context of that He is true, they ask Him to judge and to avenge for them. The fact that He is the True One it qualifies him to judge and to avenge. In chapter 19, verse 11, it calls him the faithful witness and the true witness. And because he is true, it says that he comes to judge and to make war. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when we are reading that these are the words of the Holy One and the True One, it's because he is about to render a certain judgment. He is about to pass a verdict. 
He's about to avenge. He's about to make war. So before we go even any further, we must understand that the opening statement in that he's calling himself the Holy One. In that he's calling himself the True One. And in that he's saying he has the key of David. He's about to render a verdict. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I am telling you in all authority that God has made a decision. And the decision he has made concerning anointed Christian fellowship is a firm decision and is a decision in love. Listen to me. I have seen the Lord Jesus. And this is not of myself. This is not of myself. But if I say I have not seen the Lord, I'd be lying. And the Lord brought me to himself. You don't understand. You do not go to the Lord. You are invited. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel. Will you come again, Emmanuel? And the church will see your holy face, Emmanuel, when you come to reign. You go find that song, practice it. It's a powerful song. Let me tell you the truth. You see how the Bible says we are to come boldly before the throne of grace. Do you know that scripture? Can you show me if you know that scripture? Two people. Three. There's a scripture that says that we are to come boldly before the throne of grace that we may find help in the time of need. Are you familiar with that scripture? Can you show me by your hand if you know what I'm talking about? Okay, I think we're not communicating. Either we do not know the scriptures, which would be really bad. And I can't believe we don't. Because I know, I know the shepherd of this flock. So you must know the scriptures. I am saying this. There's a scripture that says, Let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may receive grace and find uh, help for the time of need. If you know that scripture, just wave your hand at me. Hallelujah. Much better. <laughs> much, much better. Amen. I apologize for the echo, but by the time construction is done, this will be really good. 
In as much as that is true, that we are to come boldly, I tell you a mystery. When it comes to seeing him, you can't take yourself there. Are you hearing me? When it comes to seeing the Lord, he will either come to you or you will be invited. You are taken to him. Do you understand? He sends for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when they come, you are taken. And you are brought before him. And you see him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I saw the Lord, he said this to me. Among something, among other things, he said this the decision I have made is firm. When he said firm, and I was looking at his eyes. I knew that there was nothing in the universe that would change that decision. Then he told me, I have made it in love. And as soon as he finished telling me that, I was escorted from his presence. I did not know the context of what he said to me. But I know now. I'm not telling you something that happened 40 years ago. I'm telling you something that has happened in less than a month. That this Jesus we believe in is actually there. He's actually real. So let me tell you the decision he has made for anointed Christian fellowship. Verse 8. I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door. Which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power. And yet you have kept my word. And have not denied my name. This is what Jesus has decided for you. This is what God is saying to anointed Christian fellowship. Maybe you'll believe it better when you hear it from Bishop. <laughs> but I can tell you the truth before the Lord. This is what he's saying to this flock. Pastors and elders, can you give me your attention? Hey, attention yanyu, kana modhi kiririe. Verse 8 is what the great shepherd of the sheep is saying Araiga. to this flock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have set before you an open door. Praise the Lord Jesus. And no one is able to shut that door. 
I have set before anointed Christian fellowship an open door. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I say to you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 60 verse 4. Lift up your eyes all around and see they all gather together they come to you your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be carried on the hip Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43. Isaiah Verse 3 to 7. For I am the Lord your God. The Holy One of Israel. Your Savior. I Give Egypt as a ransom. Geheana Egypt etairehi. Cush and Sheba in exchange for you. Kurusu na Sheba negeda gokora nerie. And the Lord is saying to ACL. Na gainiara iga kwe ACL. Everywhere. Kodo guade. Because you are precious in my eyes and honored and I love you I give men in return for you peoples in exchange for you the Lord says fear not for I am with you I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west I will gather you I will say to the north give up and to the south do not withhold bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the end of the earth everyone one who's called by my name whom I created for my glory whom I formed and made I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus except God is not alive this place shall be filled with glory. I tell you in the name of Jesus. God God, Gai. Almighty God, Gai is going to bring sons. Mark my word. In the name of Jesus, He's going to bring daughters in this place. He will bring them from afar. I will tell you the truth. Before the Lord Jesus, the decision He has made. The decision he has made concerning ACF everywhere in this nation it is a firm decision and he has made it in love. I tell you the truth the scabbard of our spiritual authority huh? thank you that scabbard Amina. I tell you in the name of Jesus almighty God is going to ignite a fire in that scabbard and I tell you the truth the quiver Amina. Reba Katea, Malo Seko Kai, 
in the name of Jesus. Her quiver. You listen to me because you will see it in your own eyes. God, Almighty God, is going to ignite a fire in her quiver. And when she grabs a son and she shoots him forward, they will become flaming arrows in the name of Jesus when she grabs another arrow and she shoots her daughter she will become a daughter of fire this is a decree of heaven say to ACF the time to favor her has come. Come on, rise up on your feet. Receive the word of the Lord. 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 Say with your mouth. God has opened a door. For ACF, ACF, that no man will shut. This house, this house shall be full of glory. Nariri. See your sons come from afar I tell you the truth they will come from the east they will come from the west God is going to gather her sons God is going to gather her daughter say to ACF the time to favor her in the name of Jesus the time to favor us come on pray pray for your own house pray for your own house this house this one say to the Lord the time to favor us has come Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 This community will see. Thank you, I said this community. They will see something they've never seen. Odomatare mona, amina. They will see something they've never seen. Me kuono odomatare mona. They will see something they've never seen. Me kuono odomatare mona. I say, elders, get ready. Aduria kani damwe hariririei. Ile maradia, telma shakaria. This is not the time to come to church late. Listen, young people, find what you need to do. Senior pastor tells you the truth. Senior pastor, I will tell you the truth. Because our bishop says the truth. You can be setting up church at eleven. In the name of Jesus. You know what David said? I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Listen to me. David wasn't waltzing in church at noon. Right? Come here, come here, give me your other hand. David was not going to church at 11. Listen to me. What God is about to do here. If you miss it, you will have yourself to blame. 
Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Listen to me. If you're set up, you should be here by seven. You should be here by eight. By nine. Intercessors should have been praying for an hour. In the name of Jesus, I tell you the truth. If you don't arise, Jesus said, the stones will arise. You watch God. This place shall be full. You watch God. You'll be turning right. You'll be turning left. You will find strangers. God Gai? is about to do a new thing here. You think just you, please keep going right there. You think Uresiria? it is the will of God. That when our spiritual authority is not here, the church is almost empty. You think that is God's will? I tell you the truth. Do you know when honor is known? It's when the father and the mother are not at home. Come on now. Mama, is it true? Listen to me. You, you make up your mind. Make up your mind. Get on the bus with Jesus. You, what does the Bible say? In everything you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord as unto the Lord watch this so if Dr. Bishop Margaret told us tomorrow that next Sunday Jesus told me he will be meeting with us here at 8 a.m. Some of you would sleep here. You show up as if bishops here. You know, Neowe. Moses had 70 elders. Musa Arenaduria Kanida Mirogo Muguaja. 70. Mirogo Muguaja. Do you know what God told him? Noria Gaya Muride. Bring them to the tent of meeting. Marehe Mayage Togano. And God said, Senior Pastor, Nagaya Kuga, Senior Pastor, Moses. Musa, I will take of your spirit and I will pour it on them. But do you not know the saddest story? 
the 70 who received the same spirit like Moses. My God, they never succeeded Moses. None of them did. God had to go out and find a little guy called Joshua. He, had, he was not one of the 70. He was just an attendant. And God left the 70. And he told Moses, anoint Joshua to succeed you in ministry. May God forbid. I know it is a hard message. And I know I have no right to say to you what I'm saying to you. Except I don't care about you. I care about what God has told me to tell you. And God is saying to ACF nationwide, Strengthen the weak knees. Roll up your sleeves. Show up to work. Show up early. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is about to do something extraordinary God is about to do something extraordinary something akin to the first church is about to break out and just like the apostles said they said we will not leave prayer we will not leave the ministry of the word to come and wait on tables to come and wait on tables right we are not going to serve you food listen right they said our work will be prayer and the word among yourselves find men full of the Holy Ghost full of wisdom and let them serve the people the last thing that should be on bishop's mind is taking an offering for maintenance Jesus Christ, what are we doing? She, 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 she needs to be with Jesus. She needs to soak in the Lord Jesus. And you figure out maintenance figure out like Baba Stacy and the engineers and the other man figure this out all this figure it out so she can be with Jesus and I'm telling you you allow her to be with Jesus. Kiamba and banana has not seen the fire that is meant to come here. Take your position. Take your position. I know. I know. Maybe some of you are saying to me, How dare you? 
No go korwa mwanyi muraiga o giu go guatia. But there's a fire in the bones of my spiritual mother. No he na mwaki theini wa mahede mama mwa kwa waki roho. And I can feel it in my bones. Na nedera wo igwa mahede ine maakwa. She will tell you what God is saying. And let the sparks fly where they will. God is about to do something new here. Take your position. Please be seated. Sorry to have you standing so long. I want you to ask yourself a question. What is your position? What is your position? And how committed are you going to be in that position? It's not all of us that will be senior pastor. It's not all of us that will be like our dear sister. But I can tell you, no, no, you can do something about the bathrooms. Hello? Are we talking? You can do something. You can gather the youth to come for prayer. No, so can do Mahoya. Who said intercessory was only for mature mothers? No, I giriate Mahoya, no matumia, Ria Makurita Magekitera. Who told us that? No, at Do we not see Daniel? Do we not see his friends? They were not mature women. They were young men. Yet they prayed. Yet they fasted. Yet God used young men to deliver a whole nation out of captivity. Our drummer, you need to have like four or five that you're training. Don't, don't wait for them to come. Go look for them. Because there's a presence coming. You won't do it alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we here? Our keyboard man. I think you're the sound technician. You're all in one, right? Look for disciples. You go look for them. We are the Omede. Amen. Amina. Hello. Hello. We need to prepare. You know, you know what the Bible says? No, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Right? More grace. More grace. Amina. Right? Amen. God is about to do something new. We must become new wineskins. New wineskins. New wineskins to contain the new wine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is it that you can do? Do it in the house of your father. Come early. 
This is what David said. Oh Lord my God. Jehovah Early will I seek you. He said a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. It sounds like I'm doing housekeeping. It sounds like I'm doing housekeeping. You know, I'm keeping house. But it is not housekeeping. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Some of you were aflame and on fire for Jesus. What has happened now? What has happened now? Arise and shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen up on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is it that you can do? What is it that you can do? Arise and do it. Do it and do it early. In the name of Jesus. Are you prayerful? Arise and pray. Get together a team. Two or three. Isn't that what Jesus said? Where two or three are gathered in my name there I am in their midst some of you need to find each other hey I'll be calling you at 3am and we'll be praying for an hour hey we'll be fasting on Tuesday you and I not because because Bishop said. Bishop Not because senior pastor said. But because Jesus is about to do something new. And we want to be a part of it. We want to be a part of it. What's the budget? Budget How much can I raise? You know, the poor were never exempted from tithes and offerings. Did you know that? You go study the scriptures. They were never exempted. God used to say you need to bring a bull or a ram or however many sheep. And God used to say and if you're poor you're not exempted. Bring me pigeons. You remember the widow who gave two mites? She was not exempted. She brought her two mites. What does Jesus do with your five shillings? Do you know what he does? He takes it. Your five shillings. He gives thanks. He blesses it. And then he puts it back. And it's multiplied. Hallelujah. So if you're not exempted, do not exempt yourself. Do not say this is the work of Baba Stacy, they have money. Hello. Hello.
I can hear Jesus speaking to me. This is his heart for you. Take it. Run with it. God is about to work a new work in your day. And you will see it. And you have an opportunity to participate in it. Amen. Amina. You have an opportunity to participate in it. So let's finish by saying this. Verse 12. The one who conquers. I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God. This is Revelation chapter 3 verse 12. Never shall he go out of it. And I will write on him the name of my God. And I will write on him the name of the city of my God. The new Jerusalem. Which comes down from my God out of heaven. And I will write on him my own new name. And then God said in verse 13 He who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. If you will give yourself if you will give of your time if you will give of your resources if you will save to food you stay over here I will come aside I will pray a little and then Mr. Plate of Food. I will see you after three days. If you will pray. If you will fast. If you will give. However little. If you will show up early in the house of God, if you will find something to do, if you will not wait to be told, if you will not wait to be reminded, if you will, I think there's a statement, where's Pastor Margaret? Yeah. You know, she says, Pastor Margaret Taigaga. That apparently you are your own evangelist, right? Is that true? Missionaries of ourselves. So imagine this. Thank you, Pastor. The drama doesn't need to come to find you. Drama the sound person does not, to come, does not need to come and find you. You will run up here. And you will say, I volunteer. What can I do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when we were many years ago, when we were youths, we never had money. I mean, it was terrible. But we never had self-pity either. So when we used to go to fundraisers, we used to tell the guy, you know, I have no money, like, at all. But there's blood in my veins. What can I do? I can sweat a little. What can I do? No, Amen. Amina. If you don't have money, come find senior pastor in the morning. You tell him, senior, I have nothing. 
But where can I take more? Where do you want it? From here over there. I can do that. I can climb up. I can do the painting myself. You go find the head intercessor. And you're like, Mrs. Intercessor. What's the program of prayer this week? What is God saying we pray for? I have no money, but I'm also not working. No, no, I need. I have no money and I'm also not working. Therefore, I have a lot of what? Time. I have a lot of time. I have no job. I have no money. Mrs. Intercessor. I can pray. No hoy. God wrought one of the greatest victories in Israel. In the days of Jehoshaphat. Please rise, we're closing with this. And as they were calling upon the name of the Lord, God said, Take your positions. And then he said, Let the Levites begin to praise. And then he said, You will not need to fight in this battle. I will fight for you. But there was one requirement. Take your position. Take your position. If you've been feeling in your heart, I need to do something. Arise. And do it. If you can lead, and you keep seeing leadership issues. Volunteer yourself. Volunteer yourself. If you don't have any money, if you don't have any, any job, you have a lot of time. Get a few of your friends. Find the man of God. What can we help with? What can we do? Because if you don't do it, God will bring from afar. And they will do it. And you will see it. And you will have no part in it. So I said to ACF, nationwide, everywhere, Jesus sent me to tell you, I have set before you an open door. I have set before ACF an open door. I, I have set before our spiritual authority an open door. And no man will shut it. No man will shut it. So take your position. Take your position. I say again to your heart. Take your position. The sound people take it to the next level. The musicians take it to the next level. Can I prophesy to the singers? No, you listen to me. Allow the Spirit of God to lead you. Because your voices 
If you don't get stuck in old ways, if you go where Holy Ghost is going, you will lead the world in worship. Amen. One is receiving. Come here. You. Come. Come. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Talabasi arande kese. Brata sokele mandeskeya. I believe I have permission from my spiritual authority to come. So you will represent them. Father, may you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors for her in the name of Jesus. May you open doors Actually, if you're 24, if you're exactly 24, I'd like you to stand on the stairs. But 24 and under. Twenty-four and under. Twenty-four and under. Hallelujah. 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 There's there's people that Bishop loves greatly. Kuya do Bishop edete mono. Intercessors. Azai zaniriri. Ha intercessors. Kana hoy, ahoy. Can we have the intercessors line up behind? Beke togi ahoy, maroga mezuza. I don't know who you are, but you know yourself. If your bishop's intercessor, if she gives you the mic to pray, please stand behind there. Do we have anyone here? It doesn't look like it, but do we have any anyone here who's 24? You're 24, You're 24 years old. Nobody. Does anybody have like a sibling who's 24? Come. Is it your daughter is 24? Your daughter is 24. Your sister is 24. Huh? Your grandchild, son, or a girl? Oh, Shushuahawa. Okay. There's somebody I'm looking for. Anybody else know someone who's 24? 24. You, that's one. Come here. I'm looking for your son. Come here. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please come here. That one. I, I need that one. Amen. Please play something. Uh, senior pastor, I know this maybe is perhaps out of order and ignorance is bliss. So please come. Let's lay our hands on them. Yes. yes. Uh, pastors and leaders, grab a head, lay, a, lay, lay your hand on it. Jesus is going to do something in the under 24s in this year. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now Taso Kobo Rotaka da Balada. Eda Bashia Kamre Silima. In the name of Jesus. I command the blessing. I command the blessing. I command the blessing of God. In the name of Jesus. I command the blessing of God. I command the blessing upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Live Rasaka Talaba. Thank you, Jesus. If you're prayed for, you can go back. If you're prayed for, you can go back. Servants of God, pray over many people. If you've already ministered to one person, move on to the next person. And, and the one you prayed for, release them. Thank you, let the yoke be broken. We honor you, God. In the name of Jesus, let the yoke be broken. In the name of Jesus, let the yoke be broken. Men and women of God, help me. If you've already prayed for one, please send them away. And let's move on to the other one. grace upon you. I speak God's blessing upon you. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. I bless your future.
you've already been prayed for, please go back to your seat. Let me have those who are not prayed for yet. If, if, if someone has prayed for you, you're good. If someone has prayed for you, please go forward. If someone has prayed for you, please go forward. You're good. The Lord bless you. Those who are not prayed for remain. Oh, amen. 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 Jesus said, let the children come to me. Jesus said, let the children come to me. I will call the pastor in the red tie, him. Please come. Please come. Yeah. Jesus said, let the children come to me. This is the most important ministry. So I bless you in the name of Jesus. Please begin to bless the children. Hallelujah. Yes. Reverend Gitao, this one is yours. Reverend Gitao, yes. you know Reverend Abu, Mercy, Amen. she is yours. Amen. 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 I bless you in the name of Jesus. 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 I bless your life in the name of Jesus. I bless your life in the name of Jesus. I bless your life in the name of Jesus. I speak the blessing of God upon you. 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 Bless your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go to senior pastor. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we bless the children. We bless the children. We allow them to come. We bless the children. We allow them to come. We bless the children in the name of Jesus. We allow them to come. Hallelujah. We bless the children in the name of Jesus. I speak a blessing. I speak a blessing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I speak a blessing upon you.
deliverance from family issues in the mighty name of Jesus grace and power let this altar of my spiritual authority speak on their behalf let it speak on their behalf let it speak on their behalf let their destinies be recovered let their destinies be recovered in the mighty name of Jesus we secure their lives we secure their lives in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah 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 Thank you, Jesus. Can we lift our hands and, and point in her direction? God is going to intervene for your son. God is going to intervene for your son. Dad, come. Reverend Paul, please. Reverend God Paul. is going to intervene. You know what I'm saying, right? No, yeah. God is going to intervene for your son. Hallelujah. Let's just lay our hands upon her and bless her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Command something new. We need prayer grace here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, church, pray for her son. I say this is the day of divine remembrance. This is the day of divine remembrance. May the God of Bishop Margaret remember your son. In the name of Jesus. Deliverance. Okori. Deliverance. Okori. Deliverance. Okori. Salvation. Ohonokio. Power. In the name of Jesus. Lord, remember her. Remember her son. Remember her son. We call his miracle forward. We call his miracle forward. We call his miracle forward. God, give her a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Give her a miracle. Give her a miracle. Give her a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Intervene, in the name of Jesus. Wipe her tears, O Lord. Wipe her tears, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the yoke be broken. Let the yoke be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. The improbable. Do the unbelievable. In the name of Jesus. Let her son be rescued. Let him be rescued. Even as you rescued Apostle Paul. Rescue her son. For the sake of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Do her well, O oh God. Do her well. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord God Almighty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let's give a mighty hand to the Almighty God. Before I let go of Reverend Karu to go downstairs, I would like us to enter into maybe five minutes of prayer. When he said that, 
There are some who are asking him, how dare you? That spirit must die. That spirit must die. Kindly, before I let him go, there is a prayer I need him to pray. Praise the name of the Lord. That door that he is talking about, it is none other, it is the breakthrough of revival. And it has started. It has started. It has started. Let me give you back, let me go back. When Bishop told us that God told her to remove the meetings of the fourth month and the eighth month. We all clapped. We did not know or understand why she said so. The doors are open. She is moving now from county to county. And I said to them, I'm not being left behind. I want to be behind. Because she is the one who is steering everything. I want to be behind. I won't stay behind. Because I know what God is doing and what he's about to do. All what you spoke. All what you spoke. And the resistance that was there. Don't mind about it. It was God and it's God's purpose for you to come and declare that. So that we may hear and understand that you came from where you came from. You came for this rightful purpose. So I would like us to pray for five minutes and you tell the Lord if there is any hindrance, if there is any disconnection that I need to disconnect myself from, in order for me to understand what God is about to do for us. May God open up our inner eyes. Jerusalem did not know their day of visitation. Let this not repeat itself within our midst. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Any hindrance. Isaiah never had God because of the company that he was in. And this door which the Lord God Almighty has opened, no one will hinder, no one will close it. Because God is at work. Even we who are under bishop, we will not hinder that open door that God has opened for her. And if God has spoken unto us as anointed Christian fellowship, let us understand the concept anything that may hinder you from getting the concept let it die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth let's cry unto the Lord God Almighty to enable us to understand that the door has been opened the door has been opened and no one will shut it because it is for us for us to be blessed for God to bless us into our rightful place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Reverend Karu kindly come
says if we humble ourselves he will hear us if we humble ourselves he will hear us uh, Reverend Paul please if you don't mind come, come join me up here Reverend Paul we have a lovely beautiful tiled sanctuary which would be very harsh for our knees which is why it would be very good for those of us that can let us kneel before God and we're going to pray and we're going to ask God to have mercy on ACF that the door that he has opened for us we will not miss it in the name of Jesus I didn't call reverend here because he's more special than you are it is because we've prayed with him enough times and I know his heart let us cry out have mercy upon us O Lord have mercy upon ACF O Lord have mercy O Lord that we may not be blind but rather Father that we we may see. Open our eyes to see the open door. To see that the harvest is plentiful. But the laborers are few. Open our eyes. Cause us to forget the former thing. Behold, you're doing a new thing. Shall we not see it, O oh God? Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. Soften our hearts. Soften our hearts. That our hearts may not be hardened. That we not say we have seen it all. Oh Lord our God. Even as you open the door, have mercy upon us. Include every man. Include every woman in what you're about to do in the name of Jesus. Make us like Joshua that we may inherit the mantle make us like Joshua make us like Joshua in the name of Jesus give us the heart of Nehemiah Give us the heart of Nehemiah. Give us the heart of Paul. In the name of Jesus. Remove gender barriers. Remove, remove the barriers of gender. Remove the barriers of money. 
Remove the barriers of religion. Remove the barriers of denomination. Remove the barriers of age. We offer the sacrifice of our knees. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon ACF. Ignite our hearts that we may not miss what you're doing in our day. Father, I pray on this altar of my spiritual authority have mercy upon us. Hear me, O God. Have mercy upon us. Remove every barrier and give us one heart one mind one spirit in the name of Jesus that we may enter in in Jesus name Amen Amen, Amen. Hallelujah Hallelujah Ebun Niseme Jambo Kidogo the word that I read that is Romans chapter 8 verses 29 God had taken me back to the year 1974-75 coming all the way na nego naga anointing jero ikione kaligitere ali koma hili ni mashuma 7475 and another anointing new anointing coming back like the one that was there in the 1974 na nego yura gianiati atoge and i was asking myself what can we do today nige that maguta mashio the anointing that i was talking maguta mashio gwara iguru riamo so that the anointing that I was speaking about, it may be upon us during this time. Because it is only the anointing that can cause people to be set free from the yokes of the evil one. Many things we try to do with our own strength and our own knowledge. But it is a time that has come that we may release God to do whatever we to do so that he may be seen and we may not be seen. God is lifting up SCF in banana and all the branches so that he may be praised through the work that he is doing. It has been preached the way it is. It all depends on you. God is looking unto you. Are you ready? Are you ready? The move is on. Are you ready? Oh, nani, am I ready? Oh, even me, I'm asking myself, May God bless you. Let's appreciate the man and the man of God. I'll kind of request the two men of God and the visitors they had come with to be taken to downstairs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Asante Jesus 